I started as a musician when I was 16. It's a good, it's a good base layer for my work, you know, because, because I know the other side of the window and uh, I really enjoy working with bands and sometimes being involved in a project uh, to play instruments myself, not only turning knobs. And I think it's, it's a comfortable situation for the musicians I'm working with, knowing that I'm a musician myself. I started Cloud Sail Recordings here at this particular place 12 years ago. I worked in several different studios in, in, in Hamburg and other cities, but I had the idea that I wanted to build a proper analog studio to rent it to people and to work uh, with my projects. The first idea I had when I started this studio was that I wanted to provide a space for musicians that feels like home. I'm not interested in setting up a studio that is super posh or super modern or super fancy. It just has to feel right. It has to feel like your living room because that's where you feel most comfortable and that's where your ideas start to come, you know? So the ideal studio is your living room with all right acoustics, great sounding gear, and people who know what they do. That's the most important thing. If we're talking about monitoring in a studio or in a place where you want to record or produce music, you have, a you have to know the room and you have to know the speakers. Speaking of myself, I must say that it took a while to know what I want from studio monitors because I started very young and I, I didn't really know what I was doing so I just failed and failed and failed. <laughs> I think that's quite normal actually and it's a healthy way to learn because as soon as you fail you, you won't fail again in that particular top, on that particular topic. I'm also the owner of a, of a rental studio. What I have to do is, I have to have a certain range of speakers available in the studio and speakers people know. And that's why, that's why I have the Adam Audio speakers here, for example, because people know them. They're kind of a, they kind of became a modern classic in recording studios, like NS10s or Auratones or Adam S4, for example. A couple of years ago, everyone had them, so everyone knew how they sounded like. And as this place is about giving people confidence in their work and making people feel comfortable and safe, the, a good working pair of speakers is, is like the base of that confidence. I think I first I stumbled upon Adam Audio when I was a teenager and started recording music. It's just because, you know, Adam Audio has been around for such a long time. I like to work with established artists because most of the time they know what they want and it's, it's just fun. But I also really enjoy to work on, on debut albums with newcomers because it's so fresh. I really like the part of the production where, where you have nothing and you have like a blank page and you can paint whatever you want and you decide together with the artist what kind of picture you want to draw of that artist. I think that's really interesting. Some projects I produced sold a lot of copies, physical copies, but I don't know if that's something you would measure success in because sometimes being, success being successful just means to record a great piece of music. 